talking earlier about Van Jones, the street czar from Oakland, California, who uh, used to push the cops around in a group called Cop Watch, and who Obama suddenly appointed as his green czar. We have no idea what he knows about the environment, but you have to listen to Van Jones's words again. Here how he tries to push the global warming lie. We have a president that understands that what the world is ready for, certainly what America is ready for, is a revolutionary transformation in our energy system. Uh, if you look at uh, our vulnerabilities now, so many of them converge on the fact that we are basically using eight track tape uh, uh, level technology to power America. Uh, we are in danger now, they, our scientists tell us, of cooking the planet, baking the planet with greenhouse gases because we're still using fossil fuels, still using the remains of dead dinosaurs uh, to power ourselves in the 21st century. Dead dinosaurs? That's what the left thinks about the real world? And wait till you hear how he's going to milk environmental fear-mongering for millions of dollars and jobs, for which, of course, he'll oversee the hiring. We don't know if they'll be armed or not. In order for us to uh, meet our energy and our security and our climate goals, we are going to have to retrofit millions of buildings, upgrade them so they waste less energy. We're going to have to put up millions of solar panels. That's thousands of contracts, millions of jobs. We're going to have to manufacture wind turbines and put them up. Thousands of contracts, millions of jobs. We're going to have to grow uh, biofuels, uh, thousands of contracts, ultimately millions of jobs. This green jobs direction, these 21st century job and contract and entrepreneurial opportunities are represented in our recovery pact. Well, you hear this. He wants to place monitors in people's homes. I'm talking about those humble, hardworking energy efficiency dollars called caulking guns, insulation, high performance windows and doors, replacing those old inefficient boilers and furnaces with new high performance ones taking out those refrigerators that use 10 times too, uh, too much energy and putting in the new stuff. Maybe sticking in some smart meters in, in, in those homes as well. Smart meters, huh? Just how smart will they be? And what will these meters meter? And what else will these millions of new employees be monitoring? Well, what would you expect from someone whose last job was harassing police, other than working for Obama in the White House as an environmental czar?